Initially, the GTI court Volkswagen napping. To begin with, they said it was for the German market only. Then, reluctantly, they said Britain could have a handful, but they'd all be left-hand drive. It didn't take them long, however, to realise that this car was no flash in the pan. They'd created something that was all things to all men. The GTI had such a profound effect on me that even now, 20 years down the line, I can still remember all the numbers. 1588cc engine developing 110 brake horsepower, giving a top speed of 112 miles an hour and a 0 to 60 time of 8.4 seconds. I can remember not only who made the fuel injection system, but what it was called Bosch K Jetronic. You should have me around for dinner one night. I'd be able to regale your guests with what it was that differentiated the, uh, the GTI from the ordinary Golf. Uh, the, the red line. On behalf of the producers of this programme, we'd like to apologise for the team tedious nature of Clarkson's ramblings. We'll try and find something more stimulating and bring it to you as soon as possible. Silver and red. And I never even had one of these things. I went for the coupe version, the, uh, the Scirocco. Now, as you can see from this photograph, um, it has the, uh, the bigger indicator lenses, indicating that it is, in fact, a Mark II version of the Mark I, but a Mark I version of the original injected cars. <laughs> Back seat with some farmyard animals. Other things, it had a yellow main beam warning light, which was, uh, which was unusual, as most cars, of course, tend to be blue. And the 1781cc version had a trip Shut computer. Shut up! Ah! Ah! I hadn't finished. I'd nowhere near finished. Oh, Shut In those early days, the Golf only had one serious rival, Ford's XR3, which was just as fast and handled just as well. It's a horny looking little thing, isn't it? It was the same size as a Golf too, and about the same price, but the drivers, they were completely different. My Golf goes 0 to 60 in 8.4 seconds. Okay, but your Escort XR3i has a top speed of 116 mile an hour. Car Magazine, August 82. Fair enough. Ford's first XR3i model proved too gutless and too uncivilised to hold a candle to the GTI. The XR3i handles, grips, accommodates... Where the Golf moves. earns a creditable 9 points out of 10 for its well-insulated ride, the Escort bangs and thumps its way to a mere five. Our first preference would be an XR3i. We it's the only have article the Escort. You can find it's I've got a it. pile the of articles. The Golf GTI is what? a girly's car. Where does it say that? It doesn't say that, but it's obvious. This is pointless. The only difference between the GTI and the XR3 was the people who bought them. Those with shell suits bought the Escort, while those with barber jackets bought the Golf. It was as simple as that. 